Today, we'll be showing you the five best Game Boy Advance emulators. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. The Game Boy Advance is one of the most popular portable game consoles of all time, and Android smartphones take up such a large part of the market that it's almost inevitable that Android owners would take an interest in playing their old favorites on their phones. The maturity of the Android platform means there are now a few good Android Game Boy Advance emulators that are worth using. We've gathered the best of them for you here. One of the more recent and most accurate Game Boy Advance emulators out there, Pizza Boy is widely regarded as the best Game Boy Advance emulator for Android alongside the MGBA Core in RetroArch, and we'll get to that shortly. But what makes it so good? Aside from the excellent performance and plenty of tweaks that can make the emulation even more accurate or more modernized, it has some very elegant skins that replicate variants of the GBA really harnessing that nostalgia. Enthusiasts have tested Pizza Boy's accuracy for sound and image against other emulators, and it's come out on top. To think that this excellent piece of software is so much newer than other entries on this list just makes you wonder how much better it can possibly get. The same developer has made a Pizza Boy emulator for Game Boy Color, which is equally impressive. Number two is RetroArch. RetroArch is a poster child for the world of emulation, namely because it's not exactly an emulator. RetroArch is best described as a single unified application through which you can interact with other emulators. These emulators are represented in cores, and there are multiple RetroArch cores to choose from for each system you want to emulate. In particular, VBA, M, and MGBA are excellent options. RetroArch can be fiddly to set up, so be sure to read a complete guide for RetroArch on Android to help get you started. Number three is John GBA, a reasonably accurate GBA emulator with plenty of extra features. The no-nonsense John GBA is a great option for those who want to keep things simple. It has built-in cheats and various options to improve the rendering, Particularly useful is the Dropbox support, which allows you to sync your saves and configuration data to the cloud, then continue playing on another Android device. The default virtual gamepad layout isn't great, but you can change it at least. And there is Bluetooth controller support too. We can't stress how much better it is to play GBA games with a gamepad. Number four is My Boy. My Boy is perhaps the most prominent entry on this list. It's certainly the most popular, and it's earned its popularity with great performance, accuracy, and emulation features. There used to be a free version on the Play Store, but that seems to have now been removed. The only one you can get now is the premium one. It remains a very good app, but the $5 price tag definitely knocks down the pecking order, as it's hard to justify the price when there are perfectly good free competitors out there. You can still find the free version at Emmy Paradise, but it hasn't been updated for a while, so it may be a bit outdated compared to the Play Store version. Number five is GBA.MU. GBA.MU is incredibly solid and a rich feature option. Its free version, linked in the description box below, is functionally identical to its paid version. If you'd like to support the developer, you can also opt for the paid version instead, but you don't need to worry about having ads thrown in your face if you can't. It's one of the few open source Android GBA emulators that sees regular updates because of that. Aside from RetroArch, this is definitely our favorite free option on the list. Ultimately, Android Game Boy Advance emulators are plentiful, but only a few are really worth actually using. If you want to avoid the long setup associated with RetroArch, especially if you're only interested in using Game Boy Advance titles, then My Boy is probably your best option. Now, if you're serious about emulation, then you need to read our guide on how to connect a PS4 controller to your Android device. We also have a guide for connecting Xbox 360 controllers to Android as well. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos.
you next time.